Hi folks, Chris Anderson with Mount Comfort RV. If you like our videos, please take a minute to like and subscribe to our page. That helps us out. That way we can continue to do this without putting those really annoying commercials that pop up either at the beginning, you have to watch for 5, 10, 15, 30 seconds of some ad before you start. And doubly protected, doubly dry with new Calm 2 antiperspirant powder or in the middle those are the ones that really honk me off is when somebody has a, a a video that gets interrupted in the middle we'll be back in 30 seconds eh, if i wanted to watch commercials i wouldn't have a dvr uh anyway enough with that let's get on to this coach this is a 2019 newmar base star and this is the 3626 model. I wanted to do this. I've been waiting on this coach to get here because back at the Newmar dealer show in April, this was my favorite coach probably of the whole show. It was between this and the Ventana 3717. Both of them really kind of knocked my socks off. And this one kind of surprised me because usually I'm a guy that tends to like those great big 43 foot diesel pushers and all that stuff. And for a base star, a nice, nice cast coach, to be one of my personal best in show coaches uh, kind of surprised me. But I'm gonna go over just a couple things quickly here and then we'll get into more detail to show you why. Uh, the, this, uh, there's, a, there's a series of boxes when I walk in a motorhome does it check off these boxes for me this one checked them all so first and foremost one of the things I look at is viewing angles when you're when you're in an RV because most of the time who buys RVs it's a couple, you know, it's it's two folks looking to get out and get away from it all. And yes, they may occasionally take grandkids with them, but when we're talking a high-end gas motorhome, it's usually a couple. And for the most part, this is gonna be used by two people. Now this coach will sleep four, cause this does, this is a fold and tumble sofa here. So it will make out into a nice bed. But our viewing angles are tremendous here. We have two flex steel, recliners directly across from the televator you can't get any better than that it's nice to have a tv up here but honestly who wants to sit and watch tv with their head turned all the time that's not really what we like doing straight on angles are tremendous here so i love this setup there's room for, you could get yourself a little skinny um, end table to go in between there as well and and so that was box number one that gets checked off for chris Box number two in today's day and age, I love a residential refrigerator. You know, the, the propane evaporation refrigerators were a must in our, in our world, uh, the motorhome world forever, but they're just not necessary anymore. Inverter batter, or inverters have gotten so much better, battery technology has gotten so much better, and quite frankly, the refrigerators have gotten so much more efficient that you really don't need, and I'm talking 99 out of 100 people, have no need for a propane based refrigerator. Understand how these work. This runs off of an inverter and an inverter takes 12 volt battery power and makes it into 110 volt household power. Okay, that's kind of neat. The only downside to that is it will run the batteries down unless there's another force acting upon those batteries to charge those batteries for us. Well, what force might that be? Well, let's go over that a little bit. When, how do most people use their motorhomes? Well, they either keep it at their home or they park it at their home the night before they leave and they've got it plugged in there. Okay? Okay, and so when it's plugged in, it's charging those batteries. When you get ready to go, well, we're gonna start the engine for sure, okay? When your engine's started, guess what's happening? It's charging those batteries. When you get to the campground, you're going to plug in, and uh, once you're plugged in at the campground, it's charging those batteries. And let's say you decide to stop and spend the night at a Walmart on the way down there, um, and you're not gonna plug in. Well, we have an onboard generator on here, and when that generator's running, it's also charging those batteries. So there's really, um, uh, for most people, there's just no need for that, because most people, even if they boondock, the people in class A is the boondock, most of the time they want air conditioning. Well, if you're gonna have your air conditioner running, that means you're gonna be at least running your generator. And if you're gonna be running your generator, that refrigerator is, is gonna be running. So lots of nice setups there to where you can do this indefinitely. So understand the residential refrigerator will work as long as you're driving and the engine is running. Those batteries are getting recharged. It'll, you can do that forever until you run out of fuel. Um, and then if you do stop and you don't wanna start your generator and you're not plugged in, you've still got somewhere between 18 and 20 24 hours where you could use stuff in here, run off the inverter and still power this refrigerator. So enough of that, moving on. This refrigerator, we did option it in with the ice maker. And it is a nice big refrigerator, much bigger than what you get with the propane based refrigerators. Okay, third thing I look for in an RV, 
of this size, because we're up to 36 feet now, is going to be washer dryer or hookups for a washer dryer. Now in an effort to try to keep some pricing down here, we did not put the washer dryer in here, although for about 2,500 bucks I can make that happen, but we prepped this completely for it. Now notice you've got a closet rod above and below. This is my favorite setup to bring these coaches in because it gives the customer all the options in the world. If you want a stackable washer dryer, it's ready, ready to accept it. If you want, some people like that all-in-one washer dryer, so it would just be down here on the bottom, you could put that in and still keep a hanging rod above. If you don't think you're going to use a washer and dryer, you could keep both hanging rods and have that for future reference. If you ever change your mind, you're, you're prepped for a washer dryer. So, pretty neat. Moving on. A king bed. Not only a king bed, a bedroom that is designed for a king bed. Sometimes that gets overlooked. Some of these motorhome designs are older designs by the manufacturers and they were designed for a queen bed and they cram a king in there. Problem with that is you can't walk around it. With this I can easily get up here. One of the complaints we hear is it's hard to make the bed. No, there's plenty of room to get around in here um, on both sides of the bed. There are outlets on both sides of the bed as well. They may be hard to catch on camera, but they're there. And we have a nice wardrobe. So those are the things that I like to see in a motorhome. Now let's reset and go into this in a little more detail. All right, so up front here, uh, we'll start and we'll get, um, we'll get going, but there's a lot of neat things I wanna talk about. The neat part about the Base Star for this year is there's really not much difference between a Base Star and a Canyon Star. This is on the 24,000 pound chassis, so that's a nice big chassis. This does have the 22 and a half inch wheels, so there's a lot of things um, that Base Star and Canyon Star have in common. This is the 3626, so we're in a 36 footer. We do have a power driver's seat that does rotate around. Now you're not gonna get this seat to rotate all the way around because eventually it does hit the steering wheel, but certainly far enough to take uh, advantage of our table. The passenger seat not only rotates all the way around, but it even has the nice footrest there. How slick is that? And then this table um, is something that I definitely wanted to demonstrate. This is a Newmar exclusive, the way this table works. This is all solid wood, by the way, not some hunk of plastic. Um, and then when you're not going to use this or you're going to go down the road, this folds this way. Okay. And folds down like this. And folds down like this pushes back in here with just the press of that lever and look at that now it's our cup holders little storage tray in there going down the road the radio that you have here is Bluetooth and Sirius capable so you can get your uh, satellite radio your uh, you also have um, built into this radio the uh, navigation system um, and this is the the uh, random McNally navigation system where you can set this up for how big you are so you're 36 feet long and you're 12 feet tall and uh, and it won't take you down any roads where you're not going to fit well that's that's good to know standard ford chassis here this is like i said the 24,000 pound chassis it has the v10 engine and the uh six-speed transmission built in your controls for generator and headlights and of course automatic leveling jacks uh, are right over here your shades on the side are manual so you just pull those down up front because that would be hard to reach from the driver's seat. That is a power shade. So if you're heading into the sun, um, you can kind of bring that down a little bit so that the sun's not right in your eyes. Okay, let's check out some of our storage options up here. Up top in this one, this is actually our AV cabinet. So we have our Blu-ray player up there and our hookups for expandability. Expandability such as a satellite dish. Um, your receiver would go in here. This does have an in-motion satellite dish on the roof little bit of storage up here it's not a huge spot we'll move into our uh, brains of the operation cabinet here this is right above the door and this has a lot of our controls for the coach we can go over here and this tells us how much is in any of our holding tanks so that's nice and then also our, um, our battery voltage for both chassis and house battery by the way this coach is so amazingly quiet the generator is running right now and I'm sure you don't even hear it on the video our step control to tell us whether our step comes in and out every time um, we open the door is, is right up here our power awning control is here. Our front two slide outs here. Water heater, gas, and electric switches are right here. When we want to put our coach into storage, we can turn off all the 12 volts in the house side of things by hitting that switch there. This is our energy management system. Tells us how much power is coming into the coach. You can see now we're on generator and it's telling us how much, um, how much that we're getting legs one and two both have power coming in. And uh, will tell us when our amperage starts getting high, that'll light up and tell us the amperage as well. 
inverter controls here. There are two inverters for this coach. There's the inverter that runs the refrigerator, like we talked about. There's also the secondary inverter, which will run your entertainment system. So if you want to use that same inverter that converts battery power um, to 120 volt household electricity, if you want to use that same technology to watch TV when you're set up without your generator running, you can do that as well. And lastly, we have our in-motion satellite dish control right there. All tucked away neatly, easy to get to. Nice handrail here for coming in and out the door. That is uh, um, just a nice setup. We talked about our recliners here. I missed this little storage cabinet. I oftentimes miss showing that. But it's a nice little storage cubby. Let's look at our storage above the recliners. Okay. That's all one cabinet too. So um, if you have longer items, they can fit in here, which is better than if it's uh, if it's divided. Also, that's a nice metal strut there that holds those doors up on its own. You don't have to be the, the one arm loader, if you will. Now, come back here. This is our computer buffet. Now, all of these windows have two types of shades. Let me just demonstrate this on one. There we go. You can see I have a completely opaque blackout shade there or this slightly translucent um, daytime shade. Now, nice part about this is I can still kind of see what's going on outside during the day, but people can't see inside here. At night, when you light it up in here, they would be able to see in, so you would want to pull down your blackout shade. This buffet table pulls in and out. And then there's some storage in here. Oh, by the way, this is beautiful Corian. This drops down. We have a computer keyboard tray there. There's a nice cabinet. You can put a printer down there. That's an adjustable shelf. This will be a little harder for Tony, but Tony, there's storage in the middle down here. Let's see if we can get in on that. And then also, nice drawer here, here, and a file drawer here. So how slick is that? That's the, called the computer buffet table. Um, so nice for a dinette, but also if you kind of work out of your coach, this is a wonderful office setup. Storage here, I would call this some, some extra pantry. And these are adjustable shelves here. And then down below, same thing. Now let's go over, um, obviously we looked at our televator. I'll demonstrate this sofa for you. I probably don't do this enough. Let's see how this sofa works. This is called a fold and tumble. You simply pull straight out on it, set it down here, fold the back down right here, and we have a self-inflating air mattress. You just plug that into the wall. You have a self-inflating air mattress that you can blow up here. You really don't even need to. This is all padded though. A, guy, a person could sleep there, especially kids, they'll sleep anywhere. Um, but to make it even more comfortable, you do have the air mattress. When, you, when you're done, it folds up just as quickly. The only key to these when you fold them up is you wanna make sure you don't just drop that down right there. You gotta get this pressed all the way down in there and then down. Very nice flex steel furniture. Obviously nice window behind our um, television there. We can drop that at any time and then a Bose sound bar, can't beat that. Moving into the kitchen, of course we have Corian all over the place. Oh, something people ask me all the time. The price, I know I forget to mention that a lot of times. Just understand there are there are rules that Numar sets up to what dealers can advertise and what they can't. We do by, play by the rules. The only price I can give you on this video is the sticker price, which is 178,720. Now, do I expect to get 178,720 out of this coach? Nah, that's probably not gonna happen. If you wanna pay that, you can but I'll get you a much better price. You can give us a call and I can talk to you directly, uh, email me, whatever, um, and I can give you uh, our actual sale price on that. And we're gonna be um, very competitive, I can tell you that. So um, if we have the coach you like, we'll get it figured out and we'll treat you fair on your trade. So enough on that, let's get into some storage. Um, oh, well, color-wise here, by the way, this cabinetry, okay, uh, this is their Arbor Maple and this is the glazed Arbor Maple. So that's a, a new cabinet color for this year and it's gorgeous. And then our actual interior decor pattern is called white cap as well as the exterior when we get there. That's called white cap. So those are some of the questions people always ask. Storage under the sink. Then drawers galore. That's got a nice silverware tr tray in there. And then three drawers under the stove as well. All right, 
Now, um, three burner cooktop, this year it's recessed underneath. A, a lot of times they put the cooktop on top, they put that little metal cover on there. Anybody that's ever had any experience with that metal cover knows that thing rattles like crazy going down the road. This is just much better, Corian's quieter. And then our sink. We have a dual stainless sink and that is a 50-50 sink. Sometimes people don't like the 50-50. I tend to be one of the, or the 60-40 sink, I'm sorry. I like the 50-50 better. You know, um, it, it's funny they do the 60-40 because apparently you're supposed to wash on one side and rinse on the other, but the dish doesn't shrink from the wash side to the, to the rinse side. So you kind of need the same amount of space in my opinion, just one man's opinion. 30 inch Whirlpool residential convection microwave. It's nice to have residential appliances. I mean, we, we want to do this, we want to go travel, we want to see the world, but we want our home to be nice. These are residential home appliances, so they are nice. There are fantastic fans in this coach. There's two of them, there's one right above my head here. Um, the control for it is over here on the wall. And the nice part about that is if you're short, now I don't have any trouble reaching that, but if somebody was like five feet tall, it would be tough to reach this. You wouldn't reach it without a step stool. So to have the control on the wall is very, very nice. The artwork does come with it. Look at this pantry, pantry galore. These are adjustable. And then storage above the refrigerator. If you do have that five foot person in your, in your RV, you can hide stuff from them up here. We talked about the washer dryer cabinet already. Um, Tony, let's take a look at the bathroom. I'm gonna let you get in there. Nice size bathroom. It's an all-in-one bathroom. Sometimes people don't like the split bathroom. There's plenty of room around the toilet here. Nice size shower. I'm going to step in there to demonstrate the, the, the size of the shower. Again, I go about 5'9", five, 5'10", five, and I'm 215-ish. I've got plenty of room in here. Plenty of elbow room. Um, if you're taller, you can be about a foot taller than me and still get your head up in here inside the the, the uh, um, skylight. If you're more than six foot nine, well, the RVs just aren't made for you. <laughs> Sorry. Nice little corner cabinet. Nice medicine cabinet, all wood. They're not using some plastic thing hanging on the wall. Nice outlet in here as well and countertop space. A lot of times the ladies need a lot of the countertop space for all the lotions and potions and, and that's nice there. You put a little trash can or hamper in there. Good size drawer here. Toilet paper holder. And they brought back the stepper drawer. I love the stepper drawer. This was actually created by one of the executives at Newmar. He took his kids out and they couldn't get up to the sink to brush their teeth. Um, so they just took a regular drawer put a step on it the kids can stand on there but you didn't lose the drawer space this flips up you still have a regular drawer here to use but the kids can use it um, so so that's very grandkid friendly all right to the bedroom here's our main wardrobe nice hanging space here the Newmar branding iron I call it okay if you're not familiar with this this is how you lock Newmar slides. Um, if, you, if you have questions about this, give me a call. You don't have to lock the slides, um, but it helps hold them in because they're held in at the bottom. This helps hold the top in as tight as the bottom is. This is a little tool that helps you lock those. So you'll see that in, in all the gas Newmar products. All right, then we have five drawers in here, just like this one, I'm not gonna open all of them. And then we drop this down, there's our AV for the bedroom. So there's another Blu-ray player and, and room for a DVD, king size bed as we talked about, but look at the storage underneath. There's two more chairs for the dinette. Still some leftover storage, even with those chairs in there. And uh, Tony, you probably get those outlets in the in the shot now because they're on the side of the bed post there. There it is. There's one of those on each side. You have to take my word for it. But uh, so when you have, if you have a CPAP or something to plug in, or just your phone charger, room to do that. How about a window in the bedroom. That's something that all motorhomes used to have and it kind of went by the wayside, um, but you actually have a rear window. And then windows on either side of the king bed here that open. So if it's a nice night and you want to get a little cross breeze in here, you can do that. This is one big storage cabinet it goes all the way through. I can't reach the other side, but it looks just like this side. Okay, that's going to cover most of the inside. The only other thing I want to do is let's close this up and show you how much space you have even with the slides in. 
Okay, the slides are in, so we're gonna show it to you. Uh, we, we do this for better, for worse. Understand, the more slide outs you have, the more slide outs have to come in when you get ready to go down the road. And that's a wonderful thing. We, we all love the space, but there are trade-offs. This one, when we got it closed up, we definitely see the, the choke point on here. It's a little snug. I can get through there again, 59215. You're gonna be able to do it. But now this is fine. I mean, heck, I, can, I don't even have to turn sideways here. But when we get to this point right in here, there's a little bit of a choke point right here. I can get through there, but it is snug. Okay, I'm not, not gonna lie to anyone. The table is all the way in. I confirmed that. And that's gonna be your, your choke point, if you will. Um, what we really wanna be able to do, going down the road, is be able to get to the restroom and get to the refrigerator, which we can easily do both. Once you're past that point there, you can get here, get to it from here, even easier, okay? Um, in the bathroom, same thing. I can get in here, this door opens plenty wide enough, that's not even tight, and then you have a king size bed. So we wanted you to see it uh, for better or for worse, we, we thought about maybe if we just open the slide three inches it'll show better in the video, but we're not going to do that, we're about integrity here, so um, I guess not too much integrity, I thought about it. Anyway, um, regardless, that's what we're doing, this is, this is it, again I'll go through here, it's snug, it's not impossible, I'm not in pain. Okay, there we go, right through the middle. Still a great floor plan. I still love this floor plan. It's my favorite base star. Hope you like it too. Let's go look at the outside. Okay, we're in front of the 3626 base star. This is a 2019 model. We're gonna show you around the outside. Some things we, we commonly go over, but one is we did option in the flagpole holder, so this comes with a little stainless steel sleeve that drops down in there. You can fly your flag. Hopefully it's a nice American flag. No commies. Um, we do have side cameras and backup cameras on this coach. Power awning like we talked about from the inside. Alcoa aluminum rims and these are wrapped around the 22 and a half inch wheels. Same, same, same size wheels you have on a diesel pusher. How nice is that? A triple entry step. Nice part about triple entry step is look how low the first one is. A lot of times people will complain when that, when that step, it just gets harder as we get older to maybe if that first step is right there, that's gonna be a little tougher. This comes way down. Very, very easy. Real compartment doors. These aren't travel trailer doors, folks. These are side swing doors, aluminum, like you would find on a big diesel pusher. In fact, if this was a Numar diesel pusher, same door. So, um, wonderful neoprene seal right here instead of rubber. Nice part about these seals are you see so many times you'll, you'll go look at a motorhome and the seal will be hanging down. It'll be on the ground. The adhesive has given up the ghost. These won't do that. Take a look at this. This is actually got a piece of metal in it, spring steel, right in the middle of that, that grommet on there, and it just clamps down on the edge of that. It's not going anywhere, it's never gonna fall off, and uh, that's just a much better seal. Now, Numar doors, they do take a little bit more of a slam. You're usually not just gonna give them the little flick of the wrist. I always try to demonstrate Numar doors when somebody's in. You wanna put your hand on the back of the door at the same height as this latch right here, and then be firm. There you go you want them to be firm. The neoprene is a little firmer than a rubber seal, number one. Number two, you want this to seal tight. You don't want things, first of all, you don't want critters in there, number one. Number two, you want it to be watertight, I assume. That's a good thing, we can all agree on that. All right. One big compartment. So if you have things like golf clubs uh, or something to put in there, you know, nobody makes a compartment door big enough to do golf clubs. This one, um, because it's all one big compartment that takes up the space of three, you can actually squeeze those things in there. There are lights in this compartment as well. You turn the lights on on the inside. This is all carpeted with that Ozite style carpet. All the way back into this compartment. All of these doors have struts on them, the uh, gas struts, so they hold themselves open. They're nice, thick, insulated baggage doors. Moving back into this area, this is one of our holding tanks. Uh, I'm guessing the gray tank, but it could be black. It's hard to tell from here. Notice the sensors on the outside of the tank. That's in, in lieu of using the probes that a lot of other companies use. When you use probes that purse the tank, number one, there's three probes on there. That's three more opportunities for a leak. Number two, they eventually get gunked up, and we won't go into what kind of gunk gets on them, but use your imagination. Um, and, and a probe with gunk on it will not give you an accurate reading. These, because they're an ultrasonic, um, 
since they're on the outside of the tank, they're not going to get gunked up and they're never going to leak. So pretty slick setup. More carpeted storage here, more carpeted storage here. This coach has a lot of storage. Look at this pass-through. Get a good shot of that. Pass-through storage. Nice. Coming around to this side, couple things to see here. First of all, this is a 50 amp coach. You do have two roof air conditioners on this. I believe they're heat pumps as well, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and there's an automatic surge protector built in here as well. So that's one less thing you have to buy. Another beautifully Ozite carpeted storage bay here. The storage just keeps coming in this coach. Our fuel fill is right here. And below that is our sewer hose storage. It has its own compartment. Here's our wet bay. Now inside our wet bay, this is where we dump our tanks. Notice your knife valves and your termination point here for dumping your holding tanks are contained inside the coach. This is a heated compartment. So when you start going into colder temperatures, you don't have to worry about it as much with a new Mars with other brands. They are the best insulated coaches out there. Nobody can ever look you in the eye and say, this coach will never freeze. You know, when we get down to temperatures at zero, we start worrying about our houses freezing. The news will have, you know, things on there. Leave your, leave your cabinet doors open under your sink and leave your faucets running because they're worried about houses freezing. Well, if we're worried about houses freezing, how could anybody look you and be honest and say a coach will never freeze? What I always tell people is this. Listen, what I can promise you is the Numar will be the last thing in the campground to freeze because it does have the thickest walls, thickest floor, most amount of insulation, most studs. Their studs have insulation inside them 99% of RVs don't have. So it's going to be the last thing to freeze. We do have also hot and cold water out here and a black tank flush and a whole house water filtration system. Now our generator is still running. Okay. There's the exhaust pipe. I'm standing right next to the generator here. It's very quiet. Gas and electric water heater. Here's our fresh water tank. Again, this compartment area is heated. There's that generator making all that noise. Pretty darn quiet. It's an Onan 5500, as you can see. Then here's something you don't see very often on a gas coach. Number one, you don't usually see four house batteries. Number two, you almost never see on a gas coach a pull-out battery tray like the diesel pushers have. So when it's time to check the fluid on those batteries or do any battery service, you can actually pull it out and get to them. Lastly, we have our uh, propane bottle. Most customers don't use as much propane as they think they're going to. If you've never owned an RV, you might be really concerned about how much propane am, am I gonna need. Most customers fill that bottle once or twice a year. That's how little propane you use. Okay, up front, something to talk about here. This windshield is actually bonded to the front cap. It's bonded like an automotive windshield is. Now, you may think, well, they all are. Well. Sadly, they all are not. If you see a wide gasket around here, that's called an H gasket. H gasket is a floating windshield. Problem with the floating windshield is if your coach ever gets in a twist, either by the leveling jacks or just some really um, unfortunate roads, um, you can actually pop a corner out on your windshield. Numar reinforces their front cap with steel and then bonds that windshield in there automotively. They do not pop out. You also have a clear film on the front. This is called Diamond Shield. After they get done with this beautiful masterpiece finish, they actually take this. These guys are artists. I don't know how they do it. I've seen them do it. I don't know how they do it because how do you get all these curves and lines and angles perfectly with no wrinkles? It's like gift wrapping a basketball. I don't get it. I don't understand it. There's, there's some sort of a sorcery going on there, I think, but, but it is nice. It's beautiful. They put it here on the front. This protects against bugs and rock chips. They also put it here because if we have our keys in our hand, we could scratch up our beautiful paint. So they put a nice clear um, finish around there and around our door panel right here. So if somebody's got a big ring on and they get in there, they're not going to scratch their coach. So I tried to think of everything. Hey, I forgot to show the TV. Come here. Outside television. This is a nice Vizio television. This is on a pull-out arm, so this is movable. Extra little plug in there with USBs on it, so if you want a nice little place to charge your cell phone or something, you can do that in there. And then when you're done, push it back in, shut the door, take a good look at this masterpiece finish. Tony's backing up towards the lake right now. This could get really funny in a hurry. If the camera... <laughs> 
<laughs> so there we go folks i hope you've enjoyed the video my name is Chris Anderson. I'm with Mount Comfort RV. This is a 2019 Newmar Base Star 3626. Don't forget to ask for me if you call in, need help, want to buy one for crying out loud. That's why we do this. I hope to see you soon. Thanks for watching.